Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel where you never know what I'm going to talk about or what's going to happen. On this video, I'm going to be discussing my journey to getting the New Balance Jaden Smith Vision Racers. There's the box. I'm going to be unboxing them and trying them on and also telling you a little bit about how I got them and the whole journey that was involved with it because it is a story to tell. So... I had been wanting the Vision Racers ever since they first launched. I was like, whoa, those shoes are so cool. Um, I think the first launch that they had was the blue ones. And I was like, blue's like one of my colors. I can work out that color. Then I missed it. And then I saw them on resale for like two to $300. And I was like, mm, no. They originally released for like $150, which is workable. Like it looked like it was going to be a comfortable shoe. I love a shoe with like a platform, like some type of like girth on the bottom. I love a chunky shoe. Ever since I was a kid, loving the Spice Girls and <laughs> that whole moment. And also like disco and everything. I love how big chunky shoes have come back. Some people call them dad shoes. I'm just like, no, is this a chunky shoe or a platform shoe? But anyways, keeping to the story. Um... So yeah, then they released the yellow ones, missed out on those. Then they released some like white ones and some like mix match color patchwork looking ones that I missed out on completely. And I really wanted those because I was like, whoa, those are really fun, funky, and cool. Um, but unfortunately I missed out on those. Then I saw they were releasing a black pair and a white pair with pink trim, and I was like, <gasps> okay, here's my chance. Hopefully I can get them this time. Hopefully I can get them this time. I was like, I have to try to get them in my size this time because every time someone posts like a pair of the previous colorways for resale, my size, which is a 13 slash 14 possibly, goes like for too much. It's like two, three, four hundred dollars. I'm just like, I'm not doing that. Well, if you're a size like eight, nine, they go for like 150, 100, so like closer to the retail price, the original retail price. So... I was like, okay, I'm going to set my alarm for the date that they are released. So I set my alarm and I was like, I'm going to get these shoes. I'm going to get these shoes. So I go to the website. Okay. <laughs> New Balance website is so annoying. A lot of shoe sites are annoying when it comes to launches. I guess because everyone's waiting. Um, it wasn't as bad as, say, like Reebok. Reebok. Every time they do a, like, launch, it's a complete mess. Like, I hate their website. I love their shoes. I love the collaborations they do. But Reeboks, I hate your website. Please fix it. Anyways, the New Balance website, it kept being like, you're in the queue, you're in the queue. And then it actually wasn't too bad, but it was a nightmare once I got through the queue. So I saw that they had them in a 14, and I was like, ooh, I should drop on a 14 just in case they fit tight, because I do have wide feet. And I was like, I don't know how these fit. I don't know one personally with them. Of course, I've seen some reviews online, but I wasn't really sure if those people had, like, slim feet or wide feet. They don't really tell, but I have wide feet, and I was like, maybe I should go up a size and do a 14. So I selected size 14, and then I noticed on the description it said that these shoes are non-returnable, and I was like, what? what what like how are you gonna like new balance how are you gonna have a shoe on your site that's non-returnable like what if they don't fit like every shoe site that i've been on shoes are returnable or exchangeable at least and then for some reason these ones they were like these are non-returnable i was like oh so that had my mind tinkering i was like should i order these do i really want these and i really wanted them in the black pink colorway um so i went ahead and i put the size 14 in my basket um, and then I was like, should I get these? Should I get these? Should I get these? Oh, just get them. So I went ahead and I checked out. And then it was like, I did PayPal and then I went back to the site and I was like, these shoes are out of stock in that size. I was like, what? Why are they out of, size, out of stock in my size already? This is crazy. So I went back to the original page where they're listed the sizes and size 14 was sold out so i went ahead and i got a 13. i had the 13 in my basket i was like oh, i hope these work i hope these work because if, you, if i can't return them that's crazy i was just like but hopefully these work and if they don't work maybe i'll resell them even though i hate reselling things it's a whole thing anyways so i checked out and everything went smoothly from that part and I was just like, it was just bothering me for like just an hour. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to call New Balance Customer Service and maybe ask them 
to cancel the order. But then I was like, what if I miss out on these shoes? So then I just Googled Vision Racers and I noticed that not only did New Balance have these shoes, but this time around, Foot Locker had them, Champs had them, um, Hibbit Sports had them. I was like, what? I thought these were like exclusive to NewBalance.com. But I guess with these particular colorways, they were just selling them everywhere. I was like, wow. So I could have ordered them from Foot Locker, Finish Line, other like sites and been able to return them if they didn't fit. And I checked the size. I was like, whoa, they have my size. They had the size 13. They didn't have 14, but they had size 13 on every single freaking site that I checked. So I was like, oh my God, I'm calling New Balance. Maybe they can just cancel my order. And I had the page loaded and everything. So once I got confirmation that the order was canceled, I could immediately order it on another site. So I called New Balance. I got a nice customer service agent. She was nice. Um, she was like, what? Like, that's so weird. Of course you can return shoes. Let me just double check. Like, we always take returns, et cetera, et cetera. Um, let me just double check for you that. I was like, thank you so much. So she goes and she double checks and she comes back and she's like, yeah, apparently, like, this is the only shoe that I've heard of that we don't take a return from. Um, I think it's because it's a, like, collaboration limited edition. I'm like, okay, but, like, can you cancel my order? And you're like, um, let me check. And I was like, they went to go check. And they came back and they were like, unfortunately, we can't cancel your order. And I was like, what? Like, I just placed the order an hour ago. These shoes have not shipped. Why can't my order be, like, canceled? And I know it's not her fault. I know it's not her fault. It's the corporation's policy or whatever on this particular shoe. Or however it works. I can't, I couldn't cancel the order. I couldn't return the shoes. She comes back to the telephone. I guess she talked to like a supervisor. And they said, well, since it is a collaboration, you could just resell them. And I'm like, and she says on eBay. And I'm like, what? Of course I know I can do that. I don't want to do that. I was just like, wow. So I guess I'm stuck with these shoes unless I can resell them. Or unless they fit. Which will be awesome. And that's what we are here. <laughs> so I'm going to unbox these shoes, which I'm excited about. Um, and I'm hoping that they fit. I'm so scared that they won't. Um, but I'm hoping for the best here. I'm hoping for the best. So let's get opening. All right. Scissors. One thing that's cool is that, it, like, compared to other shoes that I've ordered, this box looks more slim. Um, but hopefully it didn't damage the box. I know a lot of, like, shoe retailers, they pack the box in a bigger box so it doesn't get damaged, the box. But this box looks pretty okay. Right, so here are the shoes. And here they are. Oh my god, I have been wanting these shoes and even this box. Sometimes I keep the box of shoes that I buy if they're like limited edition special shoes. Um, let me know down in the comments if you guys do too. Boxes just kind of get in the way though. <laughs> like I'm like, like a lot of my Reebok Instapumps because I love an Instapump, I keep the boxes if they're different than the other Instapump like boxes. So I don't know, maybe I'll keep this box. I know it's recycled, everything's recyclable on it, which is great. The Vision logo is kind of got a shiny finish to it. Um, all right, so let's open these up. Cool. Got the Vision paper in there. And let's see. Smells good. There they are. Woo! I'm excited. Ugh, these are cute. These are really cute. Oh my god, I hope they fit. They feel really light. Some people say that they're really heavy, but they actually feel really light to me. I love them. They come with the extra pink laces because the laces that are in them are black. Oh my god, the clear sole, the extra clear sole is so cool. I Oh, I freaking love them. I really hope they fit. They're really freaking cool. Um, the other one. Oh, I love the smell. I love a new shoe smell. These are so cute. Ah! Ah! 
I want um okay I'm gonna assume got hit by a shoe I'm gonna assume that they're gonna fit and these are gonna be mine I'm gonna come back to this video um and try them on and let you guys know all right so I'm really excited to actually freaking have these so just give me a moment I'm gonna try them on hopefully they fit hopefully they're cushy hopefully they're comfortable but these are really cute. I feel like I can wear these with so many different things because they're black with just like a hint of pink. And I'm like, oh, please be comfortable. Please fit my wide, big feet. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back. So I still have them on right now. I love the details of them. Um, they're really cool. And yeah, I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of these. I will say that um, if you have flat feet, I also have wide feet and flat feet. And if you have wide feet, I mean flat feet, that you will feel um, a little bit of that inside going over a little bit. But I think they'll eventually like wear in and you know, feel even better. I feel even more comfortable, hopefully. Um, but they're pretty comfortable. I really like them. The design of them is really awesome. I love, like, the textures of them. I love that they have, like, the reflective... I don't know if you can see it. The reflective in, and this part reflects, too. They're really cool. Um, I think I might change the insole. I know I saw some videos of people talking about the insole. Here's the insole. Um, it is pretty flat, um, I might change them for like an orthotic or something that I can put in there that will give me even more support. But overall, these are pretty cool shoes. I'm really happy I didn't have to buy them on resale. I'm really happy I didn't have to resell them because of that ordeal before um, with the customer service and, you know, them not being returnable to New Balance, even though I purchased them from NewBalance.com. Um, but yeah, overall, really great job, Jaden Smith, on designing these shoes. I'm really into them. And I'm looking forward to the next colorways that might come out. These might be the only pair that I buy, though, because I have a ton of sneakers. Um, I may do a video soon of my Instapump collection. Um, like, I love a Reebok Instapump, which are these, but that's for another day. Um, but yeah, these um, are great. I like them. If you can get your hands on some, I'm pretty sure they still have them on almost every website that sells shoes. Because I think they made a way bigger quantity of these, so they're not as limited as, say, the earlier colorways, which is good, you know, that, you know, more people can get a pair without having to go to the flippers who are going to flip them to, like, $300 when they only cost, like, $150 or so. So, yeah, I definitely think you should check them out. I wouldn't purchase them if I was you from NewBalance.com. I don't even know if they're still in stock. I will definitely recommend purchasing them from like a finish line champs.com or something um you can just google vision racer and they'll pop up 
Um, unless New Balance changes their return policy on these, because I don't know why they have them being non-returnable. I think that's ridiculous. Anyways, thank you for checking out this video. Um, I love the Vision Racers. They're really cool. And definitely check them out and check out my next video. Subscribe and like this one if you love it. Subscribe to my channel so you can see my other upcoming videos. I think the next videos I might do may be about my other sneakers, like I mentioned before. I love an Insta the Pump or my record collection. So I'll see you next time on this channel. And peace and love, y'all. See you next time. Bye.